I should likely mute my Twitch, though. There we go. Am I online? I am online. But am I still hosting Shane? That's the question. I am no longer hosting Shane. Something else I want to show off. Hmm. Oh, probably... Foley's just happy. He's you know effective. I'm useful. <laughs> He's useful finally. Besides for getting you guys out of tough situations. All right. So Foley, your council uh, sends you a message. The face of the young uh, Lord Magus that you had recruited with Leona uh, appears in your bowl of soup in the morning. Maxwell. Lord Danmichael awaits you at Lord Hardcastle's estate. She says she has done what you asked. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, so you are joining. Good. Yeah. I just want to. I just. I'm sorting out stuff for the uh, COA thing. All right. Oh. Oh. Midas touch. Fuck. I never thought I'd actually get that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm playing Binding of Isaac in the background. <laughs> oh. Anyway. How far are you in there? Uh, I've killed three mums arts. Yeah, so fully. Anyway, you. He basically tells you that you all are summoned to Lord Hardcastle's estate to plead your case. Hi. Whereabouts are we right now? I'm sorry. You are currently in the World, World Serpent, Serpent Inn once more. Oh, we're still in the Serpent? Okay, cool. Yeah, the, Is Fiona joining us? Or uh, she's not. not. She's helping nope. a buddy on WoW tonight. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna follow Foley. Wherever he goes. Well, I gather the group up then. Is Thok in here? Or, uh, I mean, Thok is, Thok is in the world? not with you guys. Thok has yet to return from whatever mission Thok went out on. He's still obeying Aldith or something. Thok is still busy on doing whatever Thok is doing. Like, stop relying on the guy, Jesus. I know you need to carry, but calm down now. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Fucking sassy bitch. I actually do well on my own. Yeah, you just my get everyone else rock. killed. Exactly. All right. So, I'm alive. you guys navigate your way through the old town district of Arabel. For the first time, you all are given uh, admittance into what is known as the Citadel. As soon as the gates open, the contrast between the two areas is stark in comparison. While Old Town is downtrodden in ruins filled with dirt and rats and muck, the citadel, the streets seem magically polished. Nobles and ladies walk around in the finest of garments. It's almost as if the secession of uh, Cormier, all of its hard times, its monetary limits, even the primordials fall, dashing most of Arabelle's trade. These people still seem to act as if nothing is wrong. They all kind of glance warily at you, more specifically Zinn and Robert. Robert, um, what? Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say I just like I won't like I 
I'm just going to pay a little least attention to everybody, kind of like just keep my focus on Robert more so. Okay. Robert, you are feeling extremely uncomfortable. For the most part, since no. your transformation, your reception in most areas, even in the Underdark, has been one of, you know, hope and relief. Whereas here, you almost feel like a tiefling with all the glares at you. I stand up straight, unbothered by these filthy heathens and their glares, because I know deep in my heart of hearts that I am doing the right thing and their opinions matter little. Alright. Yeah, like filthy paladin. Well, what, wait, uh, what race are you, Marty? I forgot. I'm assuming you're human. So. Demi celestial. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. He's human, but he he's basically like a super cleric at this point. Like you know, when you picture like a high priest, you kind of picture him like have that holy aura type thing. That's kind of what he has. And glowing eyes. And glowing eyes. Yeah. He's a human with a halo over his head. That's it. Nope, he hasn't gotten a halo yet. Almost. Almost. He has a Master Chief over his head? <laughs> a Master Chief. <laughs> Alright. As you guys are That's given oh. entry into... There we go. Okay. Yeah. As you guys are given entry mm -hmm. into... Who drops? Morty. We'll wait for Morty to get back. Oh, I was wondering where the fuck we were. Oh, we're all, we're all the way back here. All oh, the he's way got his dragon? Back. Yeah. I thought he, oh, I thought they flew off in the swamp. Okay, cool. So Robert's Morty. Doc is... You oh, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't met him yet. Um, what do we got here? And then, uh, Foley, who are you again? I'm sorry. I'm looking at my notes real quick. I just have fully a sneaky of your mom. Oh, there we go. Okay. Motherfucker. Not bad. There. Now the stream's all looking good and smart. And it's Maxwell. Alright. Ryu Harakasta. So I'm assuming Morty crashed. Most likely. Uh, Thok, do you see yourself on the map? Yes. Okay. Oh, fully. Because we got a moment right now. Download that shit, because I want a treasure trove for somebody. It's already downloaded. Good. <laughs> we gonna be delving for that treasure trove. It's Trip's been downloaded. Oh, okay. download that fast? Jesus. Yeah, Torch Rod sucks for pretty small. What the shit? Vert yeah. owns Mountain Blade? It's, a, it's like a gigabyte. Oh, it's a good game. It's such a good game. I'm sorry you didn't own it. Like, as soon as, like, as soon as it was like, you don't own it, and I'm like, yo, no joke's on you. I just bought it for him. <laughs> oh. I swear, it's... like, half of my Steam games are just from being gifted them. Because you're a cool guy, dude. Don't you know? Hey, and Kishi, what's going on, man? Hey, look. Stream. Do, do, do. Morty crash is hard. I need my holy paladin with me. Otherwise, who will I make fun of? And be buddies with, though. It's probably gonna go grab uh, at this point. Jesus Christ. Alright. Who am I gonna make fun, make fun of Thok with? Alright, so I will give Morty the briefing of what you guys saw when you first entered. Um, but as you enter the hall, the first thing you notice, Robert, or Maxwell, sorry, um, is a very, very familiar music. It... 
it's not the type of music that normally plays in the areas of the ring that you're from. So, you kind of slowly start evaluating where you heard this music before. Anyway, um, as the doors close behind you, you see two guards holding their axes in front of a celestial being and several armored uh, holy men behind him. We told you, Lord Hardcastle does not want the brethren here right now. The Celestial speaks up and slams his hammer down on the ground. And by the light of Lathanda, I demand entry. At this point, Maxwell, you would notice that further on down the carpet, up close to the uh, Lord's pedestal, you see... Leona and Lord Dan McMull standing. The guards look to you past the uh, celestial being as he steps off to the side. State your business. Lord Dan, Lord Dan, yeah, I can't speak. Lord, Lord Leary, Dan you can McMull. say a Lord a Leary. Thank you. Thank you. Lord O'Leary has gotten us an audience with Lord Hardcastle. Ah. We are the ones who... You are the mercenaries. Come. You can approach. Good. They lift their halberds to let you pass. As you do, the Celestial passes both Zinn and Maxwell a piercing gaze. You guys might need to uh, use alt to position yourselves better. The uh, grids yeah, are kind of yeah, yeah. off center. Yeah, right? oh, yeah, that's right. That's good, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm like walking over fully. <laughs> like, like I said, I just completely like just ignore it. I just walk right by, slunking by with my staff, just clunking it right behind fully. Maxwell and Zen, roll me perception. Maxwell's missing. <laughs> Almost rolled persuasion. I almost rolled perception. Or performance. <laughs> Matt, your net 20 is lower than a 14 for me. I know. Alright. So. As you guys step up behind uh, High Magus Leona. Sorry about that. My fucking. Um... Circuit breaker turned off. Turned off the power. Fine. Oh. Rip. I am Morty. So what you missed? Essentially, you walked forward into Hardcastle's estate. Uh, the path was blocked by a celestial being, followed behind by a group of paladins. The guards were keeping them at bay, saying Lord Hardcastle does not want the brethren currently here. And then you all were allowed to pass by. They glared at Maxwell and Zinn, but the Celestial looked at you and then looked to the hilt on your uh, hip, and his eyes widen. His jaw drops. He stares at you like he's staring at Lathander himself as you pass by him. Now, as you guys step up behind High Magus Leona, all of you notice something curious about the ensemble of lords ahead of you. Seated directly in the center is whom you all would assume is Lord Hardcastle. To his right, a lady in blue Cormirian uh, armor, dr a dress armor, sorry. An Archmagus stands to the left of the table, and on the right, an old, disgruntled-looking man dressed as the captain of the city guard. But... In between Lord Hardcastle and the captain of the city guard, 
you all see a very 